friends, my name is Becky, this is Acre Homestead, and what I wanna do on this channel is to inspire sustainable living right where you are. And today we're gonna to go through my grocery haul and a Target haul, so I've kind of got a bonus haul for you. And I was thinking, what do I do to save money at the grocery store or on groceries? And I kind of have four tips or four things that I try to live by to help save money at the grocery store. Today, with this little fill-in haul, because this is just a fill-in haul, I actually broke one of my rules. Now, obviously, they're not strict rules if I'm breaking them, but I kind of wanted to share with you what those rules are that I like to follow. So my first thing is keep a stocked pantry. Keep as stocked of a pantry as you can. I do have some videos where you can see inside my pantry and some, you, I mean, if you see my grocery hauls, you'll know that I usually buy big quantities of things because then you don't need to make trips to the store. So that's gonna look different for everybody. It's gonna look different for you as opposed to what it looks like for me. I try to keep enough food on hand that I only need to go to the grocery store once a month. But I, I realize that's not realistic for everybody. So you just need to look at your space and what you have and how much you can keep stocked on hand. And the reason why I do this is because it leads to tip number two. Tip number two is stay out of the grocery store as much as possible. And this was the rule, well, I guess number one and two were the two rules that I broke today. And that's because I needed some decaf coffee. If you're new, you might not know that I don't drink any regular coffee because I have a bladder condition. It might be TMI, but that's just what it is. And so I drink decaf coffee and I only drink decaf coffee on the weekends. Today is Thursday when I'm filming this, but Thursday is my weekend. I'm a dental hygienist, hence the wet hair. I come home, shower, and I have wet hair. So today is my Friday and I wanna make sure I have decaf coffee on hand so that tomorrow I can enjoy a cup of decaf coffee because I don't drink that during the week and it is a treat for me. And so I ran out of decaf coffee. So I broke two rules there. One, I did not keep my pantry stocked enough where I didn't pay attention to what I had in my pantry when I did my last once a month grocery haul to know that I needed to buy more decaf coffee to get me through the month. And two, that then got me into the grocery store. And you can see I bought a bunch of other stuff that I would not have bought. I spent more money than I would have if I had stayed out of the store. And that's why I like to push my grocery shopping trips as far apart as possible because it will prevent you from doing impulse buys. Now, again, just like the pantry, that's gonna look different for you and me. It took me a long time to get to once a month grocery shopping. It took me, I started this at the beginning of the when everything went crazy is when I was like, okay, I'm gonna get serious about only going to the grocery store once a month. It's taken me a long time to build to that. And so just know like if you are going from going to the grocery store a few times a week to try to push it, you know, one week between each grocery shopping, that's fine. Start where you are because it's gonna take time to slowly push those grocery shopping trips farther apart. And that's just like, you might not have space in your house or in your apartment or wherever you're staying to keep a month's worth of food, but you might have enough space to keep one week's worth of food, four days worth of food, instead of going to the store every day. So just start where you are and just start thinking about that, that what can I do now to start stretching my grocery shopping trips farther apart? So let's get into the grocery haul just a little bit and then I'll kind of go through steps three and four and I'll go through what I bought with my impulse buys and why I bought them. So here is the little grocery haul and I spent a total of $48.82. Now the kind of takeaway from that first trip is that if I had not gone into the store, I would have saved myself $48.52. But when I went in there and there were some deals that I couldn't pass up, I went ahead and purchased them and I'll break those deals down and you'll know how I'm actually saving money in the long run when I went in there. Now you know what got me into the grocery store was this decaf coffee. And my third tip is know your prices. And just because a package is bigger does not always mean it's a better deal. So the tip is know your prices and always check the price per ounce. Now in this case, this bigger package was cheaper than the smaller package, but that is not always the case. And we'll get to that when it comes to the milk. For the 10 ounce package of this exact same coffee, it was $1.05 an ounce. And this package, it was 88 cents an ounce. So this was a pretty obvious buy. They did have a Starbucks one that I've been buying, if you've seen the last grocery hauls, and I don't really like it. So I thought I would try Pete's and see if I could find something that I like the taste of a little bit better. 
I did actually get in the mail a few Kroger coupons. I am not a couponer, but sometimes when Kroger sends you those specific coupons that are targeted to you because they track your purchases and they give you some store coupons for those exact items that you buy all the time, then I do use those. And my coupons expire July 4th. So that is why I decided to go into QFC today as opposed to Walmart, Winco, Fred Meyer or any of the other stores we have in our local area is because I wanted to use those coupons. Like I said, I am not a couponer. I don't use coupons except for those in-store coupons and I had them and so I figured I might as well go to QFC, get this and pick up those other items while I was there. So one of those coupons was a dollar 50 off organic whole milk, which we go through a lot of milk. So I wanted to pick that up while I was, but while I was there, the half gallons were on sale for $1.99 a half gallon, which is actually a cheaper price to buy two of these than it would have been for me to buy one of those. So I bought one of these because I had the coupon and that ended up being cheaper, but a gallon of whole milk is $6.50 at my grocery store. So that is way more than buying these for $1.99 each. So for one gallon, I paid $4 for whole milk. The limit was five, so I could only get five, but I am gonna send my husband to QFC after work to pick up another five. The last time I bought milk was April 1st, and I bought 11 gallons of whole milk because they were on sale, I think, I can't remember exactly, but I think they were $3.99, so basically $4. This brings me to tip number four, which is know how to preserve the harvest. And I say that in air quotes because the harvest in this case does not necessarily mean stuff you're bringing out of the garden. Now I do have a big garden if you're new out back there and I do have a lot of videos of me harvesting stuff and bringing it inside and preserving the harvest. But I don't have a milk cow and I'm not gonna have a milk cow anytime soon. So the harvest in the situation is getting milk at a very discounted price and knowing what to do with it. Milk freezes absolutely beautifully. It All you have to do is throw the whole thing in the freezer. I've had a lot of you guys ask me in that last grocery haul where I bought all the milk last time is how do you freeze milk? You literally take it, put it in the freezer. You don't have to empty any of the milk out. There's enough give in the cartons, both the half gallon and the regular that allow for expansion. My husband is a cereal eater and this is his midnight snack. So that's why we have milk is because we need milk for cereal. What he likes to do is if he knows he's about to run out of milk, he usually has his midnight snack at midnight. So he'll get a gallon of milk out of the deep freeze. He'll put a towel down and he'll put the frozen milk on top of it. And he'll let that go until the morning. And when I get up, it's usually about one to two thirds thawed. So there's usually still a huge chunk of ice in the middle. So it's completely fine thawing on the counter because it's still mostly frozen. And then at that point I take it and put it in the refrigerator. So I guess I'm giving you kind of a bonus tip here as well, which leads into the previous four tips is that if you can find something at a really good deal, stock up on it. Don't just buy what you need for right now. If you can afford it with space in your house and you can afford it with budget, buy more than what you need for right now because I am saving $2.50 per gallon of milk and I have the storage space, so I'm gonna do it. So moving on from the milk, I already alluded to the fact that my husband is a cereal eater and this is his midnight snack. We actually had a free coupon. This I box of Frosted Flakes I got for free because it was one of those Kroger coupons that they sent to me because we buy a lot of Frosted Flakes. And then these family sizes are normally $5.50 even at the my local discount Winco grocery store and they were on sale for $3.99. So I did go ahead and pick up two more of these just so that I have them on hand because I know we're gonna go through them and if you can buy them on sale, all the more power to ya. Kroger also sent me a 40% off coupon for the cilantro, which is not a great deal for the cilantro to be quite honest with you, but it's about what I would pay at Walmart or whatever. So I figured I'd go ahead and pick that up because I had the coupon and I don't have any in the house. And then up here, I did buy a package of tea because I am gonna start making kombucha again and I'm gonna make videos on that and I miss having it. My husband and I, love kombucha and it's really actually helped with my husband's acid reflux and so i figured it was a good time since fruit is starting to become in season again that i need to get my kombucha out of the cupboard and start brewing some more so that is what the black tea is for and moving down to here these were also two coupons that i had i think i had a dollar off this chocolate and i had like 75 percent off these bars i really like these bars but they're pretty spendy 
And I was going through a phase like a year ago where I was buying them. And now that we're kind of on a more strict budget, I don't buy them anymore. But I had the coupon, so I got one of these. I actually really like these when we go skiing because I can put it in my pocket and they get cold and they're just really good. And then chocolate, everybody loves chocolate. And this is one of my favorite chocolate brands and I don't buy it very often anymore. So this is, I'm really excited to have this treat. I love to throw my chocolate bars in the freezer and eat them cold, so I can't wait to have that. That concludes the grocery haul, but I figured since I did go to Target today as well, I'll just show you what I got at Target. My number one tip to save money at Target is don't go into Target. I never go into Target anymore. I used to all the time, and if you've seen the reels or the things online, the memes about spending your life savings at Target, I used to do that, and so I don't go into Target anymore, but I actually had a gift card, and that's why I went to Target because I needed some more headphones. I'm, I'm very hard on my headphones and I constantly have headphones in my ear. I'm always listening to an audiobook. I'm always listening to a podcast or a live stream on YouTube or whatever it might be. And my last ones, they finally hit the dust. So this is what got me into Target and I'll show you what else I bought when I went in there. So first I got a new swimsuit, which I'm really excited about. This is gonna be my first high-waisted swimsuit and it's super cute on. I tried a few of the high-waisted swimsuits and the ones that were high-waisted but then also the leg hole was like down here, those felt like a diaper and I absolutely hated them. But I really liked this style because it was a little bit more cheeky and so you kind of get the coverage up front but it kind of gives a little bit more in the back. So it's a good balance between the two. So I'm really happy with this green color. And then I got a just black like bra style halter top with really good support, nice buckle in the back. Top, I've never had a swimsuit with this style of top before and I'm really happy about it. I thought it was very flattering. I just picked up some gum because I wear a mask all day at work and it's nice to have some fresh breath. Next, I got some slippers because I left my slippers out in the garden for the last week and for the last five days it's been pouring. And so I don't know if my slippers are salvageable. I did air dry them a little bit and then I threw them in the dryer and honest, quite honestly, I haven't even looked in the dryer. I'm a little nervous to see what they look like. But these were $14.99 memory foam. I have really, I'm getting old. Like I cannot walk around barefoot in my house without shoes on for any length of time. My feet hurt. <laughs> My feet hurt. So I needed new slippers and these were $14 and I'm happy to have them and they're super cozy. The next thing I bought were these sandals. These were $10, they were $9.99. They're just kind of like a plastic rubbery. They're nothing super fancy. They're kind of like that croc material, which I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually want a pair of crocs, but they're like 50 bucks and I'm not gonna spend $50 on plastic shoes. So $9.99 it was and I got these and Actually, my husband, this is more of a gift for my husband than for myself because I wear my husband's like knockoff Crocs all the time and it drives him crazy. If you actually just watch my latest day in the life video, you'll see me running down in the morning at like 6.30 in the morning through my yard, down my neighborhood chasing my dogs in those shoes and they really don't fit me. So they are like clown shoes. My husband's a size 12 men's shoe and um, he's annoyed because he can never find them because I'm wearing them. So these are more of a gift for him than me. So that's how I'm justifying this purchase. So I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul along with my little Target haul. Now, just to recap, basically keep your pantry as stocked as possible so that you can stay out of the grocery store and not make those impulse buys. Know how to preserve the harvest so that when you know your prices and you get a good deal, that's number four, then you can stock up on that item. Those are just my tips. I hope you guys share with me your tips because I am no expert grocery shopper. These are just kind of like, the things that I try to keep in mind so that when I go to the store, I try to save money because we're all trying to save money. We all have things and goals that we wanna do. And so sometimes if you can try to save a little bit on the groceries, then it gives you a little bit more money to do other things. So please share with me what your tips are because I know that we can learn together and people read comments so we can all chat in the comments and kind of learn together. We're stronger together and we can encourage each other down there. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day. If you found any value in this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more what I have going on around here, go ahead and subscribe. I will have videos that will pop up here if you want to watch some other videos if you're new around here. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Have a great night guys. Bye. So I'm putting away my groceries and my husband comes home and I was like, look, I bought these shoes so that I'm not going to wear your shoes anymore. And his first words out of his mouth were no chance. <laughs> he doesn't believe that I am going to keep these shoes by the back door. He's like, you're just gonna leave those shoes in the garden like you left your slippers. So 
So I guess time will tell whether these shoes are going to be the solution that keeps me from wearing my husband's shoes. And you know, he might be a little bit right, but don't tell him I said that. 